Hey, Ty here. So welcome to the VR Tech channel. So first of all, we just reached 90K. That is absolutely amazing. And thanks all uh, for the support, of course. I'm preparing a big thing, so big news coming. Stay tuned. In a second, well, this is the video of Analyst 2, uh, a software tour to really understand what is AR, how to use AR and the potential of this headset, of course. Just a little note, the video is going to be a bit shaky because the internal recorder of Holland still it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, put a little border around so uh, you shouldn't get sick. At least I rewatched many times to be sure of it and uh, it was totally fine. But yeah, uh, just be aware of it. But yeah, let's mess around with holograms, right? In this software tour of Holland still. Let's get into it. All right, here we are in Holland. Sorry if the video is gonna be a little rough. I'm gonna try to stay as stable as possible. But as you can see, uh, there's some vibration around. This is the internal recorder of Holland. So also the audio is from Holland. So yeah, uh, this is it. I'm sorry if it's all shaking, but in reality, it's actually not shaky. So uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, the thing. Let's get to the menu, right? So where is the menu in Ololens? It's directly on your wrist, as you can see. Uh, you click on it and it opens something that is uh, very familiar if you ever use Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, this is the Windows Start menu. And uh, over here we have, of course, like uh, the time, the account, the battery life, uh, connection, uh, the Cortana and the volume rocker. As you can see, you can move around like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. The pin apps, uh, then you can take a screenshot, you can record, that's what we're using right now, or uh, we can share the screen. Then if we go on the all apps, uh, well, we have all the apps that we downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Of course, but of course we want to see holograms, right? So uh, there are already some holograms there, but uh, let's put some in the environment. And while it's loading, by the way, to see the environment, um, this has uh, like a Kinect 3.0 on it pretty much. So uh, when you pinch on something, it's going to scan uh, the entire environment around uh, with the different walls and things and make it impossible for of course, having uh, the right location for uh, the different holograms. As you can see, they're gonna stay in there. They're shaky in the video, but they're not shaky in reality. They're actually very, very stable, and that's impressive. So uh, what we can do? Well, uh, we can interact with the, these uh, different application, of course. The sound when you scroll something is super nice, by the way. Uh, we can uh, make it bigger. Uh, make it a larger, moving it, or, oops, <laughs> moving that around, or grabbing if it feels more natural, of course. And then when we want, uh, like an example, we click on that. It's gonna download our hologram over here. Close the application, and we can see our hologram placed. We can interact with that, making it bigger, smaller, uh, turn it around and stuff. Or uh, if you are more familiar with uh, the square, well, you can do it with that as well. I don't really like this kind of interaction with the square around. Uh, I hope they can take it out in the future because it's just natural to grab something and move it. But yeah, if you don't want to see it all the time, you just click on this uh, little play button there and well, you just have the three dots. So when you want to remove it and stuff, well, that is going to appear. So uh, we move it down just to have a, a little example. Sorry for the mess around, by the way, uh, but my studio is limited. We turn it and we press on play. And uh, as you can see, we have this little penguin skating around the studio. Uh, it's very cool because it detected, of course, the floor. So it's skating directly on the floor. Then we want to stop it. We press on stop and here we have it. Uh, let's remove it, by the way, because uh, we don't really care. Uh, all the interactions, by the way, are made with the hands. And you can also interact farther away uh, with like a beam coming out from your palm. So uh, you press, uh, you bring the thing here if you want and uh, or you just put it back there manually or again uh, with interaction for uh, with the different beams. All right, this is how you interact with the different holograms, of course. Uh, we also have the browser that is one of the best things to have, of course, but unfortunately it doesn't work super, super well. I, I really wish it was uh, uh, like working better. So um, we could have moved and like have more than a screen 
in there like and now we have the news we can uh, like move on the news there and then we have our screens from our PC uh, it would be like a perfect multitasking but yeah uh, this is a not super uh, reactive and stuff let's put like for example on YouTube on my channel uh, let's click on it and uh, yeah it kind of takes a, a while and uh, it's longer than what you want but let's keep going while uh, this is uh, loading so uh, when we open the menu over here we also have for example the settings that are the regular Windows settings but then we have system with of course the eye calibration because this has eye tracking so uh, we can calibrate eye tracking to have better visuals uh, the best visuals as possible and uh, you run the calibration and it's gonna do it by itself. It's very fast, you have just to focus on different things. Uh, with the holograms, we can uh, remove all the holograms or uh, remove all the nearby holograms, the one in your area, or, uh, well, yeah, uh, all the other options over there. In this case, we'll leave them, and uh, I wanna show you something, because the holograms are aware, they always stay there, unless uh, you take them out uh, directly from the settings. Like, just to show you how long it's taking to load a single page. Uh, it's for sure some uh, weird optimization because, yeah, uh, it, it's taking so long. Let me, all right, let's stop that. So, <laughs> not gonna hear my voice twice. Uh, but a thing that I wanna show you is that if you move around, like now it just has to find the space. Uh, let's refresh it with a little pinch. Uh, so we can go in different places in the house and as you can see the holograms are still there where I placed them So uh, we have the one over here. You just click on it and uh, We have our interaction with the Lego uh, space station And uh, let's stop it, but yeah Oh, oh there was the wall uh, things stay there and as you can see we also have the occlusion from the objects in front so uh, it's pretty cool indeed you don't see them uh, around if you have a wall and stuff like that they feel very uh, real indeed so let's go back uh, to the studio uh, now one thing that you can also do is to place applications around uh, everywhere you need so now many applications are gonna be just a flat like uh, we saw in the browser or uh, we see in the calendar and stuff because uh, these are all apps like UWP so uh, universal Windows uh, platform I think uh, well whatever uh, they are gonna load in a flat screen instead of course we have some other applications that are made of course uh, to represent holograms and stuff uh, oh wait no uh, to represent holograms and stuff uh, like uh, Microsoft Mesh that for some reason is not working anymore uh, or spatial that we already know for uh, the VR version it's super cool so we can see it together now that is shaking also for me uh, for some reason okay now not anymore all right here we are so we have uh, our <laughs> avatar we have uh, our thing so uh, you can place pretty much the uh, room anywhere you want uh, we click on it and uh, it's gonna load around us so uh, the designing room for example imagine you are with other people you can see the avatar in your room biggest wall over there okay and here we go so as you can see we have uh, our corner uh, with everything now it's still loading and uh, well all the interactions so we have other people here uh, maybe uh, you want to look at, at this picture together uh, look at this and then uh, we go around uh, we can see the new uh, backpack that we have. Uh, we can resize it, of course. Try to wear it. Uh, you can't see it, but <laughs> I did the movement. And so, uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty cool indeed because it unlocks a lot of collaboration here. You can clap, by the way. <laughs> that is special. And uh, when you want to leave then uh, your application, well, uh, you just go on the Windows button and... Uh, yeah, on the Windows Start button and you go back to your home. That is like a kind of your virtual desktop with everything placed there. So uh, you want to keep spatial in a corner. You put spatial there. So every time you want to go on spatial, well, 
uh, you go there and click. Uh, let's close it uh, right now. But yeah, the potential is really limitless, even if right now uh, it's hard to use because there's not many things that we can do as a you know consumer uh, like I am. If you are a developer, well, uh, you're gonna have a lot of things to do uh, with it. And uh, like, this is just another uh, little demo and uh, like to test uh, your different environment, uh, interactions and things. Instead, if, uh, you know, uh, people like us, we have to wait a little bit <laughs> to have it like usable. Uh, but yeah, those are very little and interesting applications that we have to like, try the interaction. I wish the uh, end tracking at a little less latency, as you can see. And you notice a lot more uh, the latency here in AR compared to VR uh, because, you know, you can see your actual ends instead on uh, on VR. Well, even if there's latency, it's not really that perceivable, you know? But yeah, uh, let's put this uh, somewhere. Like over here, we like that corner, but uh, yeah, this is HoloLens, uh, pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, I think that is uh, amazing what they're doing. Uh, I'm using it from like two or three weeks uh, to just try it and try it over and over. And I'm always super impressed uh, by it. I really see a lot of potential. Uh, we just need probably a more powerful processor right now uh, to actually have more, uh, you know, uh, holograms around and to be able to interact better with uh, like uh, for example the web browser and things but overall uh, the usability uh, it's already uh, very good if you're working in, in a company or stuff and you have to represent something digital in front of you instead of 3d printing or something like that it's super super interesting uh, but yeah I hope that uh, you didn't get sick watching this video because I know that can be very very shaky and uh, yeah, I hope you understood like uh, AR a bit more. And here you have it guys, this was my software tour of HoloLens 2. I know that it's very hard to understand the potential of AR uh, in a video, and I hope this video actually helped a bit, at least to give an idea of how you can use it in the future or how you want to use it in the future. Because even in my case, I got super excited by augmented reality the first time I actually tried it. Before I was like, yeah, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. But then you tried it, it's like, uh, mind-blowing. Uh, in these three weeks that I had HoloLens 2, I really couldn't stop using it over and over. Even if I couldn't even actually use the browser, as we saw, because it's kind of laggy, uh, it's very, very slow. Uh, but the idea, just thinking about what I can do uh, in a moment when all of these things actually work is uh, unbelievable. Because yes, you have a, an AR headset, you have a headset on top, but you can do your regular life and stuff like that and then augmented thing. Imagine you're cooking and you have your recipe in front of you and your hands are completely free. You don't have to touch the screen or stuff. It's all in front of you and interaction uh, is just with your hands without even touching anything. Or you wanna put furniture in the studio and uh, you see if they can actually fit over there or not. They're, so many different applications, so many different things that you can do with AR. Uh, but yeah, it's really up to you. How would you use it uh, if you had something like it? I know that we know for sure that this is gonna be kind of a future. So uh, let's hope that we're gonna get there fast enough with much smaller headsets to be comfortable and also go around uh, like maybe just with a regular pair of glasses. There are a few things that I would like to see improving on the HoloLens software. The first one is the interaction with the holograms, as I said, having this cube around and uh, it, it just doesn't feel real. It takes you out of immersion. It thinks, takes you out from the fact that, yes, this is something that I put uh, in my house and it's like a furniture right now, you know, even if it's a hologram. Uh, seeing all the things around when you're trying to interact, well, uh, it's something you should go away. But at the same time, I would like to see also uh, rendered on top of my hands, uh, virtual hands, what the computer actually sees because it's hard to interact sometimes when your hand 
goes under the hologram, so you don't really know where to click. There's a little dot, but it's not 3D, it's like flat, so yeah, it doesn't feel that uh, compelling interaction. Some applications, you actually see your hands, even if you have some latency, it's much easier to show to people, and it's much easier also to interact with objects and, uh, and menus, so yeah. And the other one would like to see some more support for 3D objects, uh, like uh, on OBJs and stuff, so if you 3D print something, you can actually see it and then print it. But yeah, that was all, guys. Also, how do you see yourself using AR in the future? Maybe for car navigation while you're driving, cooking, uh, I don't know, like uh, putting furniture around, as I said. Like, what is the way that you see you empowered uh, with the power of AR? Well, let me know in the comment below. And as always, guys, if you like the video, like, if you didn't like to use this, like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. And if you really love the channel, so the join button down there a little and further. Also, the Patreon, prior access to videos. We had this a day before. And at the same time, we have a teacher sticker in mass 2021 item number one. But yeah, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.